Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in the Spitfire and we're going to be taking on the Eurofighter. Once again, it's uh, we've done P-51 F-22, we did BF-109 Eurofighter, and now we got Spitfire Eurofighter. So, you know, this, this one I guess would be for the UK guys watching. And just before we dive into this fight, you guys look down there, you're going to see that we're at 498,000 subscribers, very close to 500,000. So big thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. I appreciate you guys. Now, what I am going to do is try to keep him one circle in this fight here. And, oh, he's shooting. Oh. Whoa, I think I hit him. <laughs> I hit him as he went by. <laughs> That's what you get for shooting. Now, of course, the Spitfire, one of the tightest turning World War II aircraft, inside of his turn circle now. He might cross the nose here. Let me go ahead and shoot. Uh, I think I hit him. Did I hit him? Hit him or not, it doesn't really matter. It didn't look like it did anything to him. And keeping him one circle here. This is, in my opinion, this is the best chance we have. Absolutely cannot go two circle with a Eurofighter. Cannot do a sustained rate fight with that guy. <laughs> Almost hit him. Oh, I did hit him. I knew the Spitfire would put on a good showing. This thing is an absolute beast, the Spitfire. Alright, now I'm in a two circle with him. Look at him. He's coming in, nose on. He's going to take a high aspect shot. We're going to roll and try to jink that gunshot. We're good. We're going to reverse the turn on him. And roll him. Get a roller going. No way he can beat me in the roller, I think. I hope. He, nope, never mind, he can. <laughs> Whoa, lucky to be alive there. I got these nice, juicy 20 millimeter Hispano cannons. And if he makes the mistake of crossing my nose, uh, those will absolutely shred him up. So I just need him to make one little tiny mistake. Maybe right here, possibly. No. Stay with him. Stay with him right here. Uh, okay. In the roller, maybe. You can see he's trying to avoid that nose best he can. Trying to use vertical a little bit to escape the nose. And rounds on. There you go. Lost that wing there. I told you the 20 millimeters were going to absolutely shred him up. And luckily he does eject. And splash one Euro fighter. That was definitely easier in a Spitfire than it was in the BF-109. At least that was my experience. Alright, let's do another round here and see how it plays out. I saw a couple of comments of people asking, like, why are, you know, it looks like the other aircraft's getting hit when there's no tracers. The tracers are going around him, but he looks like he's getting hit. Keep in mind, the tracers are not every round. Like, in, in a lot of aircraft, it's not every round that's a tracer, it's every fifth round. You know, so a whole lot of bullets are still being shot in between the tracers. So, you just can't see them. Uh, and remember, the whole point of the tracer is for you to be able to visually see where your rounds are going and walk them on uh, if necessary, which is particularly important for World War II aircraft. Uh, into the merge here, one circle. Okay, trying to stay in that one circle turn with him here. Shoot across the circle. No way that was going to hit, but I just wanted to, you know, sometimes I shoot like that just to get inside the guy's head to make him think like how is he shooting at me right now <laughs> but they don't know that I know it's so unlikely <laughs> you know that I know that you know that I know that you're not gonna hit me 
<laughs> Alright, we're in a two circle here with a Eurofighter. I'm not going to stay here because I can't win, so I'm going to try to go into the vertical, do a loop around. See if we can get nose on from here. Almost had him. That almost worked. Now he's going to go into the vertical here. And oh, he's got nose on. And he shoots, and I don't know if he hit. I don't know if he hit me there. I think he missed. Which I bet you he's kicking himself right now. How did I miss that? Because I was so slow there. And, you know, it's very difficult for these jets to fly like this. You know, so slow. Uh, it's very uncomfortable for them to try to keep up with a piston fighter. Uh, he goes in the vertical. I'm going to follow that, see if we can maybe get the nose on and take some shots. Oh, just short. Just short. Alright, here he goes. He's dipping off into the two circle once again. Which is, you know, a fair strategy. He'll come one circle. And the Eurofighter's, you know, shown that it can sort of one circle fight with the piston fighter. Which is kind of weird. But whenever that fails, he just goes around, hits the two circle, and comes back around. And that's alright, that works. He can also use the vertical. Oh, a little late on my jink there. Almost got shot for it. I'm going to take a risk here. Pull up, pull the engine out, and see if he'll overshoot vertically. And there he goes. Almost crossed my nose there, but he didn't. Alright, there he goes. I'm not going to follow that. If I keep my engine in like that, it'll also cook the, Euro the uh, Spitfire's engine. So I'm not going to follow that. And he'll rip over top, he'll shoot there, but he misses. And remember, my objective here is just be annoying. You know, and make him cross my nose. Like right here. Oh my god. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? And look at him, he goes in the vertical. I mean, at this point, he's got to start getting annoyed, right? I'm not letting him have his little two-circle. Every time he comes back around, dodge his gun. Neutralize him one circle and take shots at him. And how long do you think he can survive this? Eventually, he will die. Oh, boy. How is he missing those shots? <laughs> oh, inverted almost got him. Almost had him. Can you imagine how crazy that would have been if he almost shot me and then I dodged it, rolled, inverted, and shot him? <laughs> that would have been so great. See, look at that. He knows he's about to cross the nose. He just goes vertical. Almost still got him, though. And we're going to fall out of the sky. Once again, just being super annoying. The Spitfire is so nimble. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I got him. And we'll dodge it, reverse that turn. You see, the thing is so nimble. And there he goes, into the vertical. He's just going to rinse and repeat this, I guess. And I can do this all day, too. You know, it's so difficult because this thing is so nimble that it can dodge, you know, as long as I time it correctly, I should be able to dodge his, his pipper every time. That's how annoying this thing is. That's why you cannot turn fight a Spitfire. <laughs> there he is underneath. Rolling over on top of him. Once again, we're going to shoot. Oh, he saw that. He ruddered out of the way there. You can just see the frustration building here as he tries to figure out how he's going to kill the Spitfire. <laughs> he climbs over the nose there, sees that coming. Looks like he's back to his two-circle fight. Coming around the circle again. We got to time this correctly and pull up. Oh, oh, oh. I actually got hit there. That's not good. And cross my nose here. Almost. Oof. I'm a little too slow there when he came around that circle, and I, that's why I didn't have uh, the airspeed to really jink it properly. Here he goes again, cross my nose, hit him. Oh, I hit him. <laughs> that's his response. He shot me, I shot him back in return. <laughs> he's he's got to be thinking, like, how am I going to kill him?
How am I gonna kill this Spitfire? Oh, that's how he's gonna shoot. <laughs> he's gonna shoot a fox too. That's how he's gonna do it. Okay. Got it. And we're gonna bail out. Do we have time? No, I don't think. 